Today, as we do this time every week, we're looking at a couple of new setups. A stock called Bill.com and the Euro-Australian dollar currency pair. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Stay around till the end of the video and I'll share a bit more about my Comcash Alerts app where you can chat with me and see more of my trade setups. Today, we'll look at a trading range on a stock called Bill.com and a bear flag on the currency pair Euro-Australian Dollar. But first, let's look at the active trades and later on, a brand new trading maxim today. Happy Monday, everyone. North Texas is starting to get a bit warm for my taste, but I guess we'll probably live through it. Let's catch up on the active trades. Once again, Monster looks like it's pushing back up. Hopefully this wick doesn't come back to bite us, but it got above this consolidation, so that's a good sign. As of Sunday night, the stop has been trailed to 97.06 locking in $5.30 per share. I have trailed the stop on Google up to 22.2805, locking in 909, and I'm holding it right there to keep it underneath this consolidation until we get a close above the consolidation here, above 23.05. Came close on Friday, but not quite. Spot gold hit the first target right here on Monday of last week we took half off for profit moved the stop to break even then Tuesday it dropped and just barely hit our break even stop loss on the second half I'm done with spot gold for now with a 0.67 percent account gain on this trade and the cryptocurrency setup we looked at last week as of this recording on Sunday night the graph is consolidating right down here at the bottom of the trading range. So watch this for a sell signal this week. Make sure that there is sufficient volume for the entry. And that's all the active trades for today. Let's take a look at today's trade picks. Bill.com is a company that provides accounts receivable and payable services for companies. The symbol is BILL -L and it's traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Just to be sure everyone's with us on this, a trading range is a consolidation with a strong support level like this one at 133 and a strong resistance level like this one up at 164. Price just sort of bangs back and forth between these levels until it eventually explodes out of the range in one direction or the other. I'll take a break of a trading range in either direction. And as a nice confirmation of the consolidation, we have a decline in volume and volatility right down here. Volatility is the amount of daily movement of the price, and I measure it with the average true range. Now, I would like to answer a question from one of the Comcashers right here. The reason I look for a decline in the volume and volatility during the course of these patterns is the reduction in volume particularly is an indication that traders are bored and ready to move on with this trade. So fewer and fewer traders are getting into these trades. Therefore, the price movement is smaller. The volatility drops. Uh, so the ATR drops at the same time. So when you get in a consolidation like this, watching the volume and the volatility drop confirms that the pattern that you're looking at is actually a consolidation pattern. And with that, here's the trade plan. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the range or above 164, or we will sell a daily candle close below the range or below 133. On the breaking candle, to enter a full size position, we want to see the volume bar reach up to the volume average right here. Now that's just the opposite of what we were looking for during the course of the consolidation with the decline. What we want to see is an explosive move, and we want to see a lot of volume behind that move. If the volume bar doesn't quite reach this average, but does reach 75% of the average volume, I'll open a half size position to reduce risk. You can calculate the percentage by taking this volume number, dividing it by this volume average, and you should get at least 0.75. 
If you don't get at least 0.75, I suggest you stand aside on the trade because the explosiveness of the trade is not going to be there. The stop loss is one and a half times the ATR. The first target is one ATR. So when this thing breaks, let's say it breaks to the upside, just ahead of the market close, set up your buy order. Look down here at your ATR, multiply that by one and a half, and measure that distance behind the entry for your stop loss. Measure one ATR above your entry for your first target. And of course, just the opposite if it breaks to the downside. If after entering the trade, a candle closes back inside the range here, we'll take the loss right then and not wait for it to hit the stop loss. A breakout of the pattern should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly. If not, and the momentum goes away, we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop if possible. When the price hits our first target, we'll close half the position for profit and set the stop loss to break even on the remainder. We'll then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out. I will only risk about 2% of my account on each trade. And that's today's setup on Bill.com. For the next setup today, we're looking at a bear flag on the Euro Australian Dollar Currency Pair, also known as the Euro Aussie. Just to be sure everyone understands, a proper bear flag consists of an incoming downtrend like this one here, and then an ascending parallel price channel like this. A bear flag is a bearish consolidation, so I will only take a sell trigger on this. And the pattern is confirmed by a decline in volume and volatility as before, and I measure the volatility with the ATR. Now here's the trade plan. We'll sell a daily candle close below the bear flag. I'm not going to bore you with the whole spiel. The management details are always the same. If there's at least average volume, enter a full size position. If there's only 75% volume, enter a half size position. Otherwise, stand aside. Stop loss is one and a half times the ATR, and the first target is one ATR. If you get a candle close back in the range after you enter the position, close the position and take the loss. Get half off for profit when it hits the first target and move the stop to break even on the remainder. As always, 2% risk on this trade. And that's today's setup on the Euro Aussie. Okay, guys, this is how I manage these trades. You do you, okay? Make sure you don't take any trades until you understand completely what you're doing and that you're comfortable with the setup. Now, the other side of trading is the psychological side. And to keep a handle on that, I use my trading maxims. A maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, a rule of conduct, or a proverbial saying. You guys know the deal. Use whatever tools you need to help you maintain discipline because discipline and consistency in everything are paramount. And today we're looking at a brand new maxim. Tim's trading maxim number 87. There is never a need to get worked up about things you can't control. And this is a quote from Marcus Aurelius, Roman emperor from 161 to 180 AD and a stoic philosopher. I enjoy quite a few of his quotes. I'm not really a Stoic, but I understand the appeal of that philosophy. I especially like this particular quote. I don't always succeed, but I try very hard to follow his advice about not getting too stressed about things over which I have no control. And that especially includes the market. You pick a statistically valid trading strategy, you enter your trade, and you let it do what it's going to do. Why? because what else can you do? Anything else will just cause ulcers, lost sleep, and all the other unpleasant things that happen when you stress yourself out. I've followed some trading trainers in the past that feel bad when their trade calls don't work out, and they offer sympathy to those they are training. I mean, I care about you guys. I don't want you to lose, and I want you to become successful traders. But crying about lost trades is not going to help you. We lose a trade, we move on. That's the job. If you don't learn that, you're going to have lots of stress and not too much success. I suggest you follow Marcus Aurelius' advice here. You guys get this? Let me know in the comments how much success you're having. And remember our Bill.com trade plan for today. We're going to buy a daily candle close above the range or above 164, or we'll sell a daily candle close below the range or below 133. In our Euro Australian dollar trade plan for today, we're going to sell a daily candle close below the bear flag. 
for both trades. Take a full size position if you've got average volume or better. Half size if you've got 75% average volume or better. Your stop loss is one and a half times the ATR. Your first target is one ATR. Now earlier I mentioned the Comcash Alerts app. If you like making cash and you like to be calm about it, then this app is for you. I share all my calm personal trades on the app so you can trade them right beside me. That includes the trade picks from my Monday videos like this one and all the other setups I do all week long. You get to see my modifications and additions that happen during the week as well. Trading is a kind of a fluid activity. Plans change. Someone once said that a battle plan rarely lasts beyond the first contact with the enemy. I should probably look up who said that. <laughs> Maybe it was Sun Tzu in The Art of War. I don't know. Anyway, sometimes the trading plans I share in my videos require modification on the fly. It's nice that I can share that sort of thing with the Comcashers, as well as additional trade setups I find during the week. Right here you're looking at a screenshot from the desktop version of the app. This is showing you the chat comments that I've put in here to update the Comcashers on open trade activity. This is an example of the comments that I can actually send directly to you guys if you have this app. The app is available for iPhone, Android, and desktop browser. If you think you might be interested in being a Comcasher, you can click the link in the description for more details. And that is all for today's video. Come back Wednesday, Friday, and next Monday for additional videos. They come out at 3 p.m. New York time, barring unforeseen circumstances. And don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. Remember, the only stupid question is the unasked one. If this video helped you, click the like below, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to be notified of our videos in the future. Have a great week, and I'll see you Wednesday.